Hello and welcome back to app for you in this particular video I will be discussing a new problem on linklist and the problem is very common right uh, and uh, the interviewer basically accept, uh, expects that uh, you know this particular problem so the problem is how to find the middle element in a linklist right in a very optimal way so basically uh, I have just picked up the linklist uh, the geek for geeks problem for finding the middle element in the linklist and we shall discuss the particular problem what is the problem and we will solve this particular problem by the most efficient approach okay so let us quickly jump into the discussion of the problem in short words right in to be very precise the problem says that you are provided with a link list right and you will be provided with the head node and now you have to find the middle element of the link list so if you see this particular example one we have a link list where it has elements 1 2 3 4 5 and 5 is the last element means the next element to 5 is null right so 5's next is null now the middle element of this particular link list is 3 right so you have to return 3 and similarly if you look into the example 2 so basically we have been provided with a link list right 2 4 6 7 5 1 and if you see the length of the link list is basically 6 right and so the middle element here is according to this particular problem they have considered that okay 7 should be the middle element which means if you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 by 2 is equal to 3 and the very next element to 3 that is 7 right 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 7 should be returned as the middle element of the link list so basically you have to code this particular problem so what is the logic behind solving this particular problem wherein we have to find the middle element in the link list right so the problem level is easy and but quite quite strange that the accuracy is 47.37% only but anyway we shall jump into the discussion so how to deal with this problem so basically the most efficient to approach to solve this particular problem is two pointers method we have already discussed two pointers approach in uh, several other problems in this particular problem also we shall discuss the same so what actually is the two pointers method to find the middle element of the link list so let us first of all arrange this particular slide okay so i hope the problem is clear now, now let us see how to solve this particular problem so we shall consider the link list that is given to us okay for example one two three four and five right followed by null so as we already know we have been provided with the head node so we will declare two pointers and both the pointers will point to the head node all right now what happens is we will check whether p2 next okay while p2 next not equal to null getting the point so we will check whether p2 next is not equal to null if p2 next is not equal to null what we will do we will shift this pointer p1 which is a slow pointer by one step and the p2's pointer will jump by two steps right similarly again we will check whether p2's next is equal not equal to null so since p2's next is not equal to null right because we have four here so again this will slow pointer p1 takes one step and fast pointer p2 will take two steps again p2's next is equal to null right so what is the problem the problem is we will come out of this while loop and we will not increment either slow pointer or fast pointer and at that particular situation the position of the slow pointer gives the middle element of the link list getting the point so you can see the p1 here is basically right now at node 3 so basically 3 should be returned likewise if we discuss the problem 2 so the problem 2 we have no 2 4 6 7 5 and 1 right so let us see the code to it so what will happen initially we know the head pointer is given so our p1 and p2 p1 is a slow pointer p2 is a fast pointer both are at head node now we will check whether p2's next is equal to not equal to null since p2's next is not equal to null so what we will do p1 takes one step and p2 takes two steps again p2's next is not equal to null so again p1 takes one step p2 takes steps again p2's next is not equal to null so p1 should take now you see p2's next is not equal to null it is true right which means we have a while loop right while p2's next not equal to null what do we do we say p1 equal to p1 next and we do p2 equal to p2 next next right because it's the first pointer now right now p2 is here p1 is here and p2's next is not equal to null it is fine so i'll come inside right p1 will be equal to p1 next so p1 as per this particular logic should come here okay 
so p1 comes here fine suppose but p2 equal to p2 next next so what is p2's next so p1 comes here fine and p2's next next so p2's next is basically this note and its next is null so basically now p2 becomes null so p2 is now null right thank you see p1 comes here it is fine but p2's next next is nothing but p2 equal to null now now when you go back there in the while loop now p2 next what will be the value of p2's next now they are basically trying to find next of null null next and this is basically going to lead to a segmentation error getting the point so i hope you got what i am basically trying to discuss so we have to encounter this particular issue how will we encounter this particular issue basically we will say if p2 is equal to equal to null right then directly break we don't have to go back again just break right and at that instant again the position of p1 will be nothing but the middle element of the linked list so let us code this particular problem and i will show you this issue there only right so let us let me start the code so this is a particular block we have to code uh, get the middle right so basically we know what we have to do we have received the head pointer so let us declare two nodes struct node star p1 and again struct node star p2 right i'll be really very fast uh, so what we have to do next we have to basically initialize p1 equal to head p2 equal to head fine what is next so basically the next uh, target should be we have to loop until while p2 next is not equal to null right so we'll do the loop and we know the p1 pointer will basically take one step at each time then go to next p2 equal to p2 next next right so you see this is the slow pointer this is the fast pointer and what else we can do now if you see uh, we are not considering that particular condition okay where uh, null next will be coming so basically suppose if i just now return p1 data okay so if we have this particular value you see for 1 2 3 4 5 it is fine it will work fine no problem with this why because you see p1 will be here p2 will be here p2 next is not equal to null fine so p1 jumps here p2 jumps two steps p2 is next not equal to null it is fine so p1 comes here p2 comes here p2's next is equal to null right so basically we stop here p2's next equal to null it becomes false we come out of the loop and return p1 data fine but there will be a condition where it will fail so let us see the condition so just one line we have to add there so if i just compile this particular code okay okay this is a semicolon mistake so this is a syntax error just yeah see so it is working fine for this but yes there will be i think an issue if we don't yeah segmentation fault i hope you understood why there is a segmentation fault the reason for segmentation fault is quite simple as i said you if you consider this problem 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 and 6 right now we will just follow the code p1 is here p2 is here we know the next of 6 is null okay so p2 is next is not equal to null true so p1 comes one step p2 takes two step p2 is next again is not equal to null true p1 comes here p2 takes two step p2 is next is not equal to null true so p1 comes here and p2 now points to null right p2 points to null so it is fine so far but what is the problem p2 points to null and now we are coming back and checking null next not equal to null now what is the problem you are saying null next right so this is leading leading to segmentation fault how to deal with this issue we know that we should uh, what should we should do the the moment we found that p2 is equal to null now we should break right because that will indicate that we have already traversed the entire linked list so we will add one single line here and that will be very simple if p2 is equal to equal to null right means just after uh, because we have earlier we have initialized p2 so if the new value of p2 is null then we just say just break that's it and i hope the code will work fine now so let's compile it all right just submit it yeah that's it execution time is 0.19 quite fine 
and if you talk about the time complexity so i hope you have guessed it right so the time complexity is order of n right because we are just completing the entire problem solving the particular problem in one traversal so time complexity is order of n space complexity is very efficient because order of one because we are not taking any extra space so basically by using two pointers a slow pointer and a fast pointer we have successfully completed the task of finding the middle element in the link page so i hope this video was quite interesting and intuitive so in case of any doubt please put your doubts in the comment section and please like share and subscribe for more such videos thank you